I want Mr. Mr. Moose. One by one, they come to Santa, each child with a very special request. Twin babies. But seven-year-old Reagan Walter's wish is unlike the others. Well, I want for Christmas with my dad. That's pretty much the only thing. A tough order even for Santa. Well, you know, Santa do the very, very best he can on these things. But with a little Christmas magic, mm. oh, yeah. wow. Reagan's wish comes true. Santa brings her father, U.S. Army Sergeant Bobby Walters, home to her from Iraq. From the look on Reagan's face, she had no idea Santa would even be able to help her. I didn't know. I was just hoping he would be able to. Hi, sweetie. And if Santa did, she wanted to make sure he could find her dad. I told him that I wanted my dad for Christmas and showed him a picture of my dad, so he brought home the right dad. We have a good relationship with Santa, but I didn't know if this one was going to happen. But Santa came through. Extra homemade milk and cookies. We're going to oh, have to make yes. some. And a seven-year-old little girl has her Christmas wish. Uh, Tell Santa thank you for everything. Thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Mary Jedlica, ABC6, on your side. Pam. Haley's out there. Here she is. Just pulled out of the car. Somebody's surprised? That's another stick. Oh, my cutie. I can feel it. <laughs> what is going on? Well, that, that boat that went to Germany actually went to Charleston. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we got there this morning, and basically from there, uh, a little van showed up, and they said, grab your stuff, and get in the van, and we were here about maybe an hour and a half ago. I've been in, I've been in Charleston, South Carolina since 2 o'clock this morning. <laughs>
<laughs> Think that worked? <laughs> yeah, so now we know to fill in the blanks. Have you seen the pictures? Very nice. I'm here to say, what would you do? My gosh. So the Ronald in. Reagan Conspira Sailor. Yes. Okay. Former USS Forest Hall. Uh, how are you, sir? Huh? Pleasure to meet you. My name is Dana Royal. Pleasure to all my name. How's it going out there? Good, sir. Good. Very nice. Airman oh, uh, Prentice? Yes, sir. Not something to do with the That's all right. I know you don't want to do the door. How's it going out there? Yeah. It's very nice to meet you. Lots of luck. Thank you. It's been a long time since I had that on. Wow. Everybody's <laughs> back. Uh, mess up your camera. No, you're not. <laughs> Everything that goes in there is fine. Yeah, I'm going to stop.
continues. cheerleader got the surprise of her life tonight when her husband, a Marine Corps lieutenant, home early from a tour of duty, dropped in at practice. What was your reaction? My legs turned to jello. <laughs> That's not just from practicing all night. No, it's not. I saw him and I, I just couldn't stand up anymore. He had to hold me up. Lieutenant Denver Edick was in Iraq, then Afghanistan. He wasn't supposed to come home until July, but got to return sooner. While he was away, his wife Kristen earned a prize spot on the Skins cheerleading squad. I'm a very lucky man, obviously. Um, and I, I believe I was more nervous today than I was on our wedding day. So, <laughs> uh, But it's just a, a blessing. Kristen Edick had been practicing all night with her fellow cheerleaders, unaware that her husband was coming. The director was in on the surprise. It's so nice to see these girls, the other side of their lives, because I work with them, you know, just five, six, seven, eight, get in line, and to be able to kind of have a, a window to what her life is like and what it must have been like while he's been away overseas. Um, it was just very touching. Now they plan to hang out, watch a few movies, and Edick says he'll obviously be at all the Redskins games. Take a little vacation, um, a lot of catching up to do, obviously. Yes. Um, yeah. Just uh, not get any further than a couple inches from each other.